I'm joined now by Chris King from Ferno. Hi Chris, could you start by telling me who exactly are Ferno? Ferno UK Limited is synonymous with the funeral trade within the UK and it's now just recently been our 40th year. Uh, we are from a Ferno USA base which has been going now for over 50 years. And today you're exhibiting the temporary control zone. Can you tell me a bit more about that? Yeah, it's a, a unit that actually allows a small funeral director to actually chill a body. If you want me to take you inside, we can actually walk in. As you can see, we're inside now and it's quite cold in here. It may actually come on at any time and you'll hear that there's not a great deal of noise that comes from the unit itself. But it works on standard refrigeration. That is an evaporator and on the other side of the wall is your refrigeration unit. And then on the outside we have a curtain. The thermal curtain has ripstop material on the outside and has tempro curtaining, tempro material on the inside. And it's the tempro material that stops your cold going back out into the hot ambient temperature. As you can hear now, the unit has just tripped in. So how does the unit actually work? It works by obviously keeping the cold in this area. We've now got the refrigeration unit blowing cold air in and the curtain around keeps the cold air in and doesn't allow the transfer out of ambient temperature or the transfer in of ambient temperature. So it stays to the, what you've set it at which is usually 4 degrees centigrade. When you normally start this machine it starts at around about 18 which is ambient to 20 ambient temperature. Within one hour it's normally down to 4 degrees centigrade. So does the customer need any special requirements in their building to be able to accommodate one of these? The only thing they really need is 240 volts and they need to then upgrade the fuse capacity for where the fridging system is going to be to a 20 amp motor rated fuse. Apart from that we can almost fit these anywhere. We've actually to date fitted one in a squash court and also in a very small 3 by 3 metre square uh, unit down in Bristol. How long does it take for the installation process? Usually from the start of a normal day it takes one working day to complete. However sometimes the buildings are, we don't know, we've done a survey as best we can. Sometimes you get awkward pieces where there might be a piece of concrete and it may take maybe a day and a half to complete but it's no longer than that. Okay, thank you very much.